What's up everybody and welcome back to VB Street Hub. Today we're going to be looking at what I keep in my camera bag. Let's start with the bag first. I use a Beta Flight Hive backpack. Yes, it's a backpack built for a drone, but the compatibility with camera stuff is just absolutely amazing. So we'll get started through the front. I'm going to lay this down real quick. We'll get these front straps open. And in the front of this bag, I keep my Asus Zephyros uh, G14 laptop with my solid state right on the top. It's an amazing computer and it helps me do all my editing. And in here, it's literally the only thing that fits in my pocket right there. So we're going to flip this over. In the top of this bag, I keep my chest harness as well as the Hero 9 I'm filming with. The Hero 9 has the Ulanzi plastic case as well as the microphone adapter and a Rode Video Micro right on top. So, going forward this way, we have the actual bag. And inside here, we have the contents. Big camera case, well it's actually the GoPro case. It keeps my charge cables, my GoPro accessories, lighters, sharpies, pretty much it's just a little tech pouch that I keep all the odds and ends in. Over here we keep the Helios 44M 58mm f2 lens and this is a M42 screw mount with an M42 to Fuji X lens adapter and this is a fantastic if you can get your hands on one of these they're amazing gives you the swirly bokeh in the background for all your uh, portraits it is a manual lens so you have to focus it yourself but it is just fantastic Next thing we have in the camera bag is my AeroPress because who doesn't like a cup of coffee on the go? And of course, I'm just gonna drop stuff. And of course, I can use it to make B-roll shots out there at the beach, enjoy a cup of coffee on the go. And I tend to use this every morning as well. Over here now, some of you may may get after me for this, but I keep coffee and a small canister right here. Just one of the blends I like, breakfast blend. And then this is literally a container of water in my camera bag. But it is tried and tested and true that these stacks containers from REI seal great and I haven't had one leak yet. Next pocket, we've got a GoPro Hero 7 and another GoPro Hero 7 because you can't have too many GoPros, at least to set up and do a time lapse. And they don't have to be super fantastic quality for time lapses. I mean, you're not really going to be looking at all the pixels and pixel peeping when you're watching a time lapse. So those are what that's good for. We also have the Canon Ivy Click 2 Plus instant camera, but this one actually hooks to my phone as well. That way I can print photos off my phone. I can actually select photos on Instagram as well to print. Nice memory card waterproof case because who doesn't need one of those? A rechargeable battery pack. What else do I have in here? And an SD card reader for my computer because of all the things that my camera, or because of all the things that my computer has, it doesn't have a memory card reader on it, which is very weird. Moving into the main camera compartment, and I modified this bag a little bit. I'll show you what I mean. If I unzip the side over here, 
you can actually see that there is a hole right there to where I can access the camera. Now that does not come in the bag. That is something I modified on the bag to make it work better for my needs. Um, but we have my Fujifilm X-T1 with the 35 millimeter f1.4 lens and this is just an amazing all-around lens so i use it for the street photography i use it for my studio work i use it for outside portraits it is literally i mean because it's the equivalent equivalent of an a, you know a 50 millimeter since it is a crop sensor camera and it's just my go-to all around, unless I'm using some of the antique lenses um, or the vintage lenses modified for the camera. Um, the X-T1 I have had for going on two years now. It is a beast of a camera, even though it is going on being a very old and semi-outdated camera. Um, on the bottom of that, I have the extra battery grip with the vertical shutter just to help out in some scenarios and I only have one main camera body right now um, I used to use a Canon M50 with my studio work as well um, but I just found that I'm better suited using my Fuji just because I know the system a whole lot better <clears throat> up here in this top little section You've got a, this was a LiPo bag for uh, storing your LiPo batteries for your drone. Inside here, I keep a poncho for the adverse weather, as well as some of the print media for the Canon Ivy printer. And I'm sure I will be putting more stuff in here because I am a pack rat when it comes to carrying gear around, even the stuff I don't use all the time. Uh, up top, I have my medication. For those of you that don't know, I'm on testosterone replacement therapy and have been for about four years now. Uh, deodorant, because you don't want to be stanky. A yo-yo, and this is the uh, capital yo-yo. Amazing. Uh, I enjoy it. And why carry a yo-yo? Because it's awesome. Also, I have the Galaxy Buds 2. And I think that's all in the top section. We'll flip over to the sides and show you what I'm working with. Um, because that is it for the main camera compartment. There is a laptop sleeve up here, but I just don't use it because my laptop fits comfortably in the front, in that protected hard shell part of the back. Over here, like I said, we have the EXH uh, flash for the top of the Fuji. I also keep a Belkin hub for my phone. That way I can use it, uh, use Samsung DeX if I need to. Uh, trash bags because you don't want to leave trash or if you see trash you should be picking it up off the street because you know helping the environment is always a good thing moving on over here uh, it's literally just my camera body uh, there was a pocket over here I cut it out to make room for that and then there are some type of uh, like Molly um, Velcro, not Molly Velcro, Molly elastics on the inside of that pocket as well. All right, so that's really all of the main pockets of this bag. There are so many straps and adjustments that I can put my tripod or water bottles or anything else I just need to clip to the outside of the bag on it. Um, but that is what I keep in my bag for 2021. Now, if you're here still from the very first uh, video I uploaded to this channel, which was, does the AMP24 from 
511 make a good camera bag? And the answer is yes, still fantastic bag. I still use it to set up a vlog, um, to keep a vlog set up in there, and it suits my needs. But when I'm out on the street, or when I'm getting ready to pack up to go on a trip, I do carry the Betaflight bag just because it's more padded, and uh, I feel safer carrying that and like slinging it around than I do the Amp 24 that wasn't specifically built uh, to keep photography equipment in there. Anyways, thank you so much. If you have any bag recommendations, because if one thing about me, I, is, I am a bag rat when it comes to it. I've been looking at the Wandered Access Duffel because I like giant bags and to keep things in there like a change of clothes, my camera gear, my computer, all of those things all at once, all the time. That is it for the end of the video today. I'm gonna try my best to throw in some B-roll shots of the bag and the yo-yo. Why? Because they're both cool as hell and I've never done B-roll before. So I'm trying to up my game to make better YouTube videos so you have more fun things to watch. And at the same time, I need to keep learning because in my mind, that's all I ever wanna do.